Hi everybody. Today I am going to show you how to find the maximum and minimum point or the value on a curve. So I have taken equation of a curve as y equal to function of x. So this is the curve and it is y equal to function of x. Now here this part it is positive gradient. This part of the curve is the negative gradient and this part is positive gradient. So if I give the points name as P, Q, R and S. So for this part P, Q the gradient or rate of change of this part of the curve changes from positive between P and Q to negative between Q and R and then again positive between R and S. At point Q the gradient is 0. As x increases the gradient of the curve changes from positive just before Q to negative just after Q. That is why this point is called maximum point and it is also called as crest of a wave. At point R the gradient also is zero and as x increases the gradient of the curve changes from negative just before R to positive just after R. So this point we can call as minimum points. And these two point Q and R easily we can say the turning point of a curve. So, so let's move in the next slide to see how to get maximum and minimum points on a curve. So, to get that, I mean to find maximum and minimum point values of the curve, so I am taking an equation y equal to x cube minus 3x plus 1. This is the equation and this is the curve of this equation. putting this x-axis and y-axis as well equation for this curve. Now look at this. This slope dy by dx first derivative we got 3x square minus 3. 
so to find maximum or minimum value first condition is we have to consider first derivative equal to zero so using this we can put or we can find the value of x because this 3x square minus 3 we can write easily equal to 0 so x equal to plus minus 1 now we can see if x equal to 1 then y will be minus 1 how put this value here x equal to 1 so x cube I mean 1 cube minus 3 into 1 plus 1 equal to minus 1 so using this equation we find y equal to minus 1 so our point is 1 and minus 1 this point so I am writing here 1 minus 1 now for x equal to 1 I got minus 1 x equal to minus 1 I got y equal to 3 how it is here so minus 1 and 3 so when I put x equal to 1 I got minus 1 this is this point when I put x equal to minus 1 because I have two value for the x plus and minus so y equal to 3 so I got this point so these two points We can call these two points as a turning point of a curve. That is why I wrote here. So minus 1, 3 and 1, minus 1 are the coordinates of the turning points. Now we want to see how to prove that which one maximum, which one max minimum points. So let's move in the next slide. Already we have two points on the curve. So first we have to consider this minus one three because we want to see that this left of this point is increasing right of this point is decreasing so if we look at this point if we move left so the value will be slight less than minus one that is why i consider x equal to minus 1.1 So using this x equal to minus 1.1, what we get? 0.63 positive. So here we got value positive. Now let's see this part. Here value of x will be slightly more than minus 1. So it is minus 0 0.9. Putting this value in this equation, I mean dy by dx equal to 3x square minus 3. So we get minus 0.57. So here we got minus, here we got plus. Our expectation was like this for this point. So what we can say? As the gradient changes from positive to negative, we saw in the previous slide 
so the point minus 1 3 is a maximum point so next slide we will see for this point So, considering now this point, we are here at 1. So, left of 1, it will be say 0.9 positive. So, putting this in this equation, we get minus 0.57. So, left of this, we got minus. Now for right of this one, value will be 1.1, slightly more than 1. So using this value in this equation, we got 0 0.63 and it is positive. So this part negative, this side we got positive. So what we can say? As the gradient changes from negative to positive, so the point 1 minus 1 is a minimum point. At the beginning, we already discussed about this changing pattern here and here. This is positive, this is negative, this is negative towards positive. So this is minimum points. So what we got dy by dx equal to 3x square minus 3. So d square y by dx square equal to 6x. Second derivative. Already we got in our previous slide maximum and minimum points. But we are trying to get this value doing differentiate. I mean differentiation it is with the second derivative. So how it is for the point 1 minus 1, I mean if we put x equal to 1 then second derivative equal to we got 6. So it is positive. If second derivative becomes positive, so this 1 minus 1 is a minimum value. Again, putting 1 minus minus 1, 3, so putting x equal to minus 1, second derivative equal to minus 6, so minus 1, 3 is a maximum value because for second derivative conditions like this. If second derivative value is positive, we can call the point as a minimum value. If second derivative is negative, we can call this point is a maximum value. Now, We can say very easily now the maximum value is because we have to write here value maximum value is 3 minimum value is minus 1. So second derivative we use to find this. So, 
determining nature of turning point is quicker than investigating the gradient. This is the nature of turning points. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.